Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Greg Ross Rat Trapping Tips. So it's the 16th of April, 2023, and I've just been under this house again. This is my third time under there, so I came about a month ago, set seven traps under there, came back after two nights, and there was two big rats in the traps. I thought that's probably going to be it, but uh, of course, as is my, always my practice, I will leave the traps under there for another two weeks just to make sure. So I come back today, it's two weeks after my previous visit when I got the two rats. And today, we got this nice big one in the same trap that caught one of the other ones uh, two weeks ago. Uh, right at the back, at the back entry to the crawl space there. Um, I caught a rat and this trap, exactly the same trap, caught this rat sometime in the past uh, few weeks. And then in one of the front traps is a mouse under here. And that tells me basically, and I did catch one rat under this end last time, but having the mouse under there tells me basically that uh, there's no rats under there for sure. Um, this guy didn't actually get under the house, he got to the trap which I had right beside their usual entryway into the house. I got it outside the house, but right beside that hole. And today I uh, got my stapler and I got my wire mesh. And I stapled mesh over that entry hole because I don't think they'll be going in there anymore. Because from now on, I'm going to keep two traps permanently set there outside, just outside the crawl space, under the deck where they have been in the past going up and going in their hole. They can't go in their hole. When they come along, if any more come along, uh, they're gonna, there's going to be one, two, there's two traps there. Plus I left a third trap under this end just in case something does get in. And we did a lot of exclusion work around this place in the last few weeks. We blocked up a lot of holes um, through this, this plastic siding here. You can see it's very easy. It's very brittle stuff and there's lots of little holes starting, but we blocked up all the little holes that... Uh, that are big enough for a rat to get in. See this stuff, there's a plastic house, and this stuff, especially after the sun's been on it for a few years, it gets real brittle, and it doesn't take much to bust it or to chew through it if you're a rat. But we've got it all sealed off. We did a lot of exclusion work, and uh, so they shouldn't get under there without quite a bit of trouble. And if they do get under there, there's one trap under there, plus two at the back, under the deck, right beside the, the foundations, where they had been going up in the past. And um, from my knowledge, it's, it's proven that any future rats will come along. They'll go to that same spot under the back deck where there's two traps waiting for them. So basically, that's resolved the problem. Uh, because I had... Where I caught that big rat today, there was also three other traps set there, right very close. And none of them had anything in them, they hadn't been touched, the baits were still intact. So this rat we did catch, he was the last of them. Um, this guy was the last of the rats that were frequenting that place. And, uh, sure there might be another one tomorrow, but my job is done. I've been paid, I've been paid well. And that's the end of this session. And they are going to keep an eye on the traps. And uh, I've given them a lesson in trapping and baiting and everything. So they'll call me if they need me. But basically they're going to be self-sufficient now. And uh, I've resolved the problem for them. And did a bit of disinfecting under there today with pine sole deodorizer. Um, stapled the mesh over the hole. And... Uh, spread some mothballs some of these mothballs around under there to try and deodorize the the rat urine although it's not very bad um the woman here has a super sensitive nose and uh, she doesn't like the smell but to most people they wouldn't even detect the uh, stale rat urine odor that's under that house there's not much of it um by usual standards around here it's it's very mild and after a few months, especially in the summer,